My name is Julie Scott and I'm the Managing Director of Scott Care Limited. Thank you, Jeanette, for the opportunity to take part in this supplier event. We are a family run, small to medium sized business, employing, as has been said, around 150 care and support workers throughout Kent and Medway. That means we look after people who live in their own homes and need a little or a lot of help to help them remain independent. We deploy staff to nursing and residential homes, day centres and extra care housing schemes. I founded Scott Care when I was working as a registered general nurse in the year 2000. At my home, working from my dining room table, on the Isle of Sheffield, I founded my company. I had a mum and dad with health issues that were spiralling out of my control. Three young boys at school, two dogs and a husband to look after. I could see the need for a good home care service in the area and thought, do you know what, I should just get on with this. I had a mum and dad um, where quality of their care was very important to me and quality was and still is very important to me as a registered nurse. And that continues to be reflected in our recruitment process today. We recruit local people and in doing so support localism. We are a homegrown Medway company, supported by Medway Council, who in turn support small to medium enterprises like ours. We develop our staff through continued professional training, supervision and appraisal so that we can remain a flexible provider driving care services for the people of Medway. By 2003, I'd started to build a team of dedicated care workers to help improve not only the lives of my own parents, but the people living in the Medway towns. In those days, I would don my gloves and apron and go out and do the work myself. The job satisfaction was nice back then, simple enough. My team and I were making a difference to the people we cared for. We recruited local people with a caring nature who got to know the people that they were looking after. Being a care worker wasn't just a job of work. Our carers recognised that they were real people with real problems. This is part of the culture we've developed today. We built our work up with Medway Council without a big contract by simply accepting some of the service users that other care companies with big contracts were unable to take or were reluctant to take, such as those with challenging behaviour, those with a drugs problem. Within a few weeks, we'd outgrown the dining room table and the filing cabinet, and we extended into the kitchen. Within three months, we'd rented a small basement office in our uh, Chatham office in New Road, with telephones, two telephones and a computer. In November 2003, Medway Council advertised their home care services tender. We had grown our business to be in with the chaps, as we did a good job in the rural areas of Medway, going that extra mile when the snow lay on the ground. But we had to up our game in order to take part in the tender process. We had to become a limited company, registering at company's house. Now, I've been a sole trader until this point, with three jobs, trying to support my business and my family. I've never completed a tender before, but as a small business, I couldn't afford to employ the services of a solicitor, so I did it myself. Now, back in the day, we had email, but it was just that. No one was attaching documents and sending a PDF or a Word document to support a tender application, like we do these days so that the process was painfully slow. We had to submit tender documents in boxes as we didn't have the luxury of attaching files via email. For those of us that were a bit more technical, Medway Council's IT system wasn't set up at the time to receive attachments, and we had to submit paper invoices. How things have changed. In 2003, we had to provide a performance bond seven days prior to the commencement of the contract, otherwise the council wouldn't proceed with the award. So for this, Scott Care meant they had to, we had to find surety by way of £8,000, which for a small company back then was a lot of money we needed to have in place. 
so I remortgaged my house. We also had to attend an interview at the end of 2003 with the panel, that was the contracts officers, and Amanda Rogers, the procurement strategy manager, and tell them how we intended to carry out our service if we were successful. I think this is hard, standing up in front of you people today and telling you my story. That was horrendous. Not anymore. Um, we won the contract with Medway Council in 2003 to provide home care services for Medway Council for the rural areas of Medway from February 2004 with a couple of extensions to December 2012. Now because of the contract that we won with Medway, we also won another of other, a number of other contracts with Kent County Council and have set up branches in City Bourne and Cranbrook. We won a daycare centre just because we were prepared to have a go. Nowadays, the process is simplified. In the summer of 2012, the contract was up again for retender by way of a dynamic framework agreement for home care and extra care services. We won the tender. Scott Care is now one of five gold status providers of home care services for Medway Council. These days, I still complete tenders myself to ensure that I have other company directors and an external management support advisor look over them before I submit them. We don't have a tender department in a posh building somewhere because I feel that no one knows my business better than me. We now submit tenders via the South East Business Portal where we can log on and upload or attach various documents to support the tender with directions easy enough for me to understand. The technical support's very good. They phone you back when they say they will. You simply answer a number of questions about your business, your policies, your procedures, and your charge rates. The pre-qualification questionnaire, which used to be included, wasn't included in this tender, so it speeded up the process even more. You have a word count maximum, which gives you a guide as to the length of your answers. And there was no bond requirement this time round. As we've grown our business substantially with Medway Council from those early days in 2003, where the bond surety was £8,000, we would be looking at a much more significant value this time round. So no more remortgaging. The business portal shows you your completed application form, where you're up to, where you're up to the dates you need to respond by, the specification, the evaluation criteria, and the terms and conditions. It's all in one place. You can review your completed tender and the questions and answers that have been raised throughout the process. It's nice and easy. Now we all know that there is an ageing population and their care needs are changing, becoming more complex. We see dementia, diabetes, chronic conditions such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic heart disease, rheumatoid arthritis. It's vital that we continue to manage our service users in their own homes for as long as it's safe to do so. We work in collaboration with members of the multidisciplinary team in Medway. They have a course such as we've got specialist nurses, community nurses, care managers and between us we usually manage to work it out even when it gets a bit tricky and it does get tricky because managing people's expectations of what we do can often be very demanding. Through the years, we've developed a great working relationship with Medway Council and particularly the contracts team. They work closely with us to develop the contract we have in place in a planned approach. We work well together as a team and feel that the team have come to expect a certain flexibility and a quick response from our Medway branch. For us, this means we must hire the right people train the right team and make sure that local people are looked after by local people who understand their needs. I now have a management team at Scott Care. We've grown our business through the opportunities that Medway Council have given us and long may this continue into the future. Doing business with Medway Council is now a simple process. I'm just a registered nurse from Manchester who failed at 11 plus. Back in the day, I had three, three kids, three jobs, two dogs, no formal business experience, no money apart from what I was prepared to go out and earn. But I had an idea that's now proved profitable for my business and for my family. 
proof that Medway Council will give us little boys and girls a chance. So thank you and good luck.